So this is a getting started guide to setting up your templates inside of Quickly using the full site editor. Now the way that we're gonna structure this video today is as follows. I have my live website here that is built using Quickly with everything set up, all the templates are in there and inside each template is content. So it's obviously my live website, it's ready to go. And for my live website, the admin bar is going to be black. Now I've taken my live website here and cloned it to this website here with the orange admin bar up the top. And this is going to be known as our staging website. And it has all the templates deleted and all the content inside these templates is deleted. And my header and footer parts are deleted as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to recreate all the templates inside of this staging website by copying and pasting the content from my live website into those templates. And in doing so, you'll be able to see how to go and set up your templates inside it quickly using the full site editor so that you can go and get this set up as fast as possible in your website and not run into some of the issues that I faced, which I'm going to point out why I came across those issues and then how you can avoid them when you're doing this for yourself and your own website. Now, the first thing to note about all of this is that Quickly is based on WordPress and WordPress has a template hierarchy, a structure of knowing which template it's going to use when it loads a page on your website. And so this flowchart here is taken from the WordPress docs and it shows us the template, template hierarchy and the priority that templates are loaded. So the most basic template in your website that loads if no other templates are specified, so the fallback template, is your index.php template. But then as you move to the left-hand side, these are the ones that take priority. So for example, on the left-hand side, our homepage, our site's front page. If there's a front page template applied to our website, then that would overwrite, if we follow this all the way back, that would overwrite our index.php, meaning this template would be used to load our front page. But if we didn't have a front page template, and we didn't have any of these other ones here, then our index.php would be loaded. And the same would go for our single template, which is the template that loads for our blog posts. If we didn't have a single template applied or set up in our website inside of Quickly, it would then fall back to the index.php. And lastly, same for our blog page. So when we create our blog page, coming down here, if we don't have a home.php template set up, then our blog page will use the index.php template. So as we go through, it's just really important to keep this in mind. I'll probably jump back to this as we go through today's video to show you why we're creating templates in a specific order, uh, but it just is important to know. And sometimes we can forget that, you know, all these UIs and interfaces that we're using inside of our theme builders, you know, at the end of it, it is WordPress behind the scenes. So this is going to come into play the template priority. Now I think it makes sense to create our index.php template first, and then we'll build up the more specific templates from there. And you'll be able to see how they overwrite the index.php and follow this logic. But I do wanna point out here that if we're trying to create our blog page here, it doesn't really have many options to overwrite it. It has home.php and then it falls back to index.php. And as far as I could see inside of Quickly, you can't actually design your home.php template. So really our blog page template, what we put on that is going to be our index.php design. Or inversely, we're gonna design our index.php template to be our blog page. So that's the first template we're gonna to create today. But before we do that, we're gonna set up our header and our footer so we can navigate between the templates throughout today's video. So to do that on the staging website, I'll go to dashboard and then down to quickly and then thema and then under parts, here is our header and there is our footer. So let's go ahead and edit our header template part. And now I just need to get the content from the live website for my header and paste it in here. So here on my live website, I'll come up to the quickly menu item and then to template parts and then header. And then I'll go here and I'm just gonna copy all the content here. So copy the entire section block with all the content inside there. And then back here, I will paste that in there. And then if I save this and save, back on the front end, we have our header. So let's go and do our footer. So here under template parts, I will edit the footer. Back on the live website, I'll click up here, template parts and footer. Then I'll go up here and I will copy this and everything inside it. And then I'll paste it into the staging website. And I'll save and save. That's the footer template done. I'll reload the front page. Now we have our header and our footer. So now let's go ahead and complete our index template. So back here under quickly and then thema. Under templates, let's edit our index template. 
and I'll just collapse the header and footer template parts. And we have some default content in there. So let's go to our live website and go up here to Thema and then edit our index template. And then we just need to copy the content of this template. So everything in between my template parts, which is here. So I'll go up to here and I'm going to go here and then copy. And then back here, we just need to paste that in. So we don't actually want this, but we will insert a paragraph here. And then I'm gonna pull that out and we'll delete this default section. And then we'll use this paragraph to paste in the content that we copied. And we can just delete that paragraph. And then if I collapse that header, footer, template part, and then our section we just copied. Now, if I expand this to show you what's happening here, this is just a query that's inheriting from the URL. So it's not a custom loop. It is getting it from the URL. And that's just outputting the results in a grid here. And then there's some pagination under that. So I'll click save and save. And that's our index template done. So now if I go to the front end of our website, it's outputting a list of all of our blog posts and we can see that it's using the index template up here, template index. If I go to the tools, this is a page, but it's using the index template because we haven't created a template for our pages just yet. If I go to articles, which is my blog page, it's using the index template and so on. You get the idea. Because there's no other templates set up in Quickly right now, because there's none of these here, everything is going back to using the index template, which currently outputs our posts like this. So the next thing that we need to do is our blog page. So if I go to articles, I want this to output my list of blog posts. But currently, if we go to our homepage, this is doing that. So what we actually need to do is move this over to my articles page. Because right now, WordPress is just seeing this as a normal page in my website that has the name articles. We actually need to tell it in the templating engine that this needs to output our list of blog posts. I.e. in this template hierarchy, WordPress is currently treating it as a page, like it's looking for this template, when really we want to tell it to be our blog index page, this one over here. And the way that you let WordPress know which this page is, is by coming into your dashboard and going down to settings and then reading. And then under here, we set our post page to be the articles page and then click save. So now if I go back to the articles page and I reload, now that's outputting all of our blog posts and then we have the pagination down here. So in WordPress's eyes, we converted our article page of just being a page with the name articles to being our actual blog post index page, which as we move down here, we didn't set a home.php template. So it is using our index.php template to output our list of blog posts. And as we can see here on our articles page, it is using the index template. Now, before we move ahead and set up the next template, I wanted to just quickly explain why we didn't go ahead and set up a home template for our blog page and why we're using the index template. But I don't think I made that clear enough before. Here in the Quickly Themer, if I click to add a new template and then add new, if I search for home, there's no way to create a home template here. And remember, this is the native WordPress full site editing experience right here. If we go to appearance and then to editor, which is the default way WordPress brings you into the full site editor. If we go to templates and then to manage all templates, we're back in here. So add new, there's no way to create a home template. And so that's why as far as I can tell to create your blog index template, if you don't have access to create your home template in the full site editor, then you sort of need to use the index template. And so that's why when I was setting up my website using Quickly and in today's video, that's why we set our index template for our blog page. So I just wanted to make that a bit clearer. Now the next template that we're gonna set up is for our home page. So if I click on here, you can see this sort of looks like our blog page and it's using the index.php up here. So that sort of explains why. If we have a look at the templating hierarchy here, we wanna set a front page template so that it overwrites if we work our way down here so that it overwrites the current index.php. So to create our front page template, I'll come up to here and then to Thema and then click default and then add new and then front page. And now we just need to copy and paste the content from the live website into our front page template. So back here on my live website, here's my front page template. I'll just edit that. And here's the content on my live website. So I'll go up to here and we'll just copy this. So copy this and everything inside it. And then back in here, we wanna replace this with what we just copied. I might delete that and then I'll just add a paragraph, put that there. And then in here, I'm just gonna move that up here and then I'll paste. And now if I collapse that, so now we just need to save this and save. 
And then back here on our home page that was using the index template, if I reload this, it's still using the index. So I got stuck here and I'll explain what's happening. Back here, we've created our front page template and going through the template hierarchy, that should overwrite our index.php. But the reason that it isn't is because you actually need to apply this template to a page on your website. I just thought that creating the front page template would automatically just apply to your homepage, but that isn't the case. So you need to do this step. Back here on our staging website, go to your dashboard and then down to settings and then reading, and then select a page that you've set up to be your homepage and click save changes. So now if we go to the front end of our website where it was using index, if we reload, now it's using our front page template and it's output the content from that template. If I edit this page, there's no content inside here. This page is just being used to have that front page template apply. And so I got stuck on that and hopefully from watching this video today, you don't fall into that same trap of thinking the front page template will automatically apply to be your homepage. You still need to actually do what I just showed you. But with that done, now we have a page set to use our front page template, which is overwriting our index.php. So with our front page template set up, let's go to our blog page. And then I'll just click into any of these blog posts. Let's click into this one here. So we're on a single blog post, but it's using our index template. So we obviously don't want to do this. We want to create a template that outputs the content of our blog post. So coming back here, it's currently using our index template. But if we go up the hierarchy, we could apply our single template and that would overwrite our index template. So let's go ahead and create our single template. So I'll go up to here and then to Thema. And it's a default WordPress template. So I'll click default and then add new. And if I hover, it lets us know that this displays single posts on our website, which is what we want. So I'll click. And as you can see, when you go and create a new template in the full site editor, it loads your index template as a default starting point. So if I collapse these down here, we have our header and footer template parts. This is the body of our index template. So that's always used. So we'll go ahead and just delete that. And we'll get the content for our single template from our live website. So back in our live website, I will edit my single template. And then here's the content for our template. So I'll just go up to here and I will copy this. So I'll copy. And then back in staging, I will paste it in between here. So I'll go up here and add a new paragraph there. I'll drag that into here and then I will paste. And this is a quickly block that will output the content or the post content for this single post. So I'll go ahead and save and save this template. And then back on this single blog post, if I reload the page now, it's outputting the content of this post. And if I go back to my blog page, my articles page, and click into any of these, it outputs the content of that blog post. Now this doesn't output the title of my blog post just because that's not how I have it set up on my live website but we could easily just come into here and above here, we could go insert and then heading, drag that above our post content. And then this would be dynamic data and its source would be WordPress. And then here it would be the post title. Now, if I save and save our single template, go back here and reload. Now it's outputting the title of the blog post. But as we can see, we're on a single blog post and our single template is being applied. So it's using this template here, which takes priority over what we had before, which was our index.php template. So now let's go on to tools. And this is a page in our website. So if I go to my dashboard and then to pages and search for all my affiliate URLs, which is this page here and open this, it takes us back to this same page there. So this is a page on my website created as an actual page. Same with my about page. It's an actual page but they're both using the index template. So coming back here, even though we've created a single template here and that's overriding our index, that only affects our blog posts, but we have a separate template over here for pages. So we need to go ahead and create our page template. So to do that, I'll come back into the Thema and I'll add a new default template and I'll go add new and then page is a type. And if I hover, it says display all static pages. So I'll click there and this will be for all pages. And if you're gonna design all the pages on your website full width, then you could just go ahead and delete this. So come and delete that. And then add into here a post content block from Quickly, which is this one here. So add that there, drag it in between your header and footer. And now 
course, this is a page and it's full width content. There's no container, a section around it. If I save and save, now when I go back and reload the page, it's outputting the content of this page full width. So if I go and click edit page, here is all my content here that is being output into here. Now, if you didn't want it to go full width, what you could do is just go back and edit the page template, which would be here. And then you just put that in a section. So we could go right click wrap and then put that in a section. And then if we save this and save back here on our about page, if I reload, now it looks like this. So if we go up the top here, we know that this page now is currently using our page template, which is what we expected from looking at this. And if we go to our home page, because it's still using the front page template, as we can see up here, and coming back here, the front page uses this. And if we follow this all the way down, the front page template actually overwrites or has a higher priority than the page template. Now, the next template that you might want to set up is your archive template, but I don't have that set up. And I want to show you why, because you might not need it. If I go to my website and then up to my dashboard and then under posts, you can see that I have some custom taxonomies for my posts post type. So if I click into software, it's a list of all the plugins and tools that I blog about. One of which, for example, is funnel kit. So if I open up this, so I click view to see a list of all my blog posts under the funnel kit term in that taxonomy, this is an archive page, but it looks like my blog page and it's currently using the index template, which is what my blog page uses. And so that makes sense. It's sharing the same template as my blog page. And, and in my website, that's what I really want. I just want my blog posts and my archives all to just look the same. And so they may as well just share the same template. I'm just letting them all fall back to my index template, which was used for my blog posts. But if you didn't want that to be the case, then you just create an archive template to overwrite your index. So to do that, you just go up to here and then Thema. And it's a default WordPress template. So you go default and then add new and then to archive. So here we are, it's loaded our index template as a starting point. And let's just say for our archives, we just want this to be one column. Here we could just edit our grid here and turn off auto grid. And maybe we give this a max width here. And I have a variable set up for this with content like that. And we'll just center it on the page like this. Let's save and save. So that's our archive template. Now back here on our archive, where we're viewing all the posts related to the funnel kit plugin, if I reload, with our archive template applying here, it's in one column down the page. But then if we go to our articles page, which is my blog page, using the index template that still remains in two. If we go to the home page, our front page template is applying. That all looks good. And if we go to tools, our page template is applying, which is what we designed before. That's how you go and set up your basic templates inside of Quickly. Now, the other ones that you'd want to go and set up are your 404 page when something's not found on your page and your search page. So now that you know how to create your templates inside of Quickly, I definitely recommend watching this video here, which is currently on your screen. I'm going to show you how to use the grid editor in Quickly and how you can drag and drop things into place to build some complex layouts using their system. So I'll see you in that video.